Hello everyone, today we'll be going through Cambridge International ESA level Mathematics, Paper 3, Pure Mathematics 3, 970932, May, June 2021. Let us move to question number 1. Question 1 says solve the inequality and this modulus function is provided and this is not part of the question paper i have just inserted it for your explanation i'll explain in a while so what we can do we can we can take square for the mod function so 2x minus 1 squared is less than 3 into x plus 1 and the whole will be taken as square and now we can open the square it will be 4x squared a squared plus b squared which is 1 squared minus 2ab so it will be minus 4x and less than and this one we can write in 3 squared will be 9 into x plus 1 squared and next step we can open this square as well so it will be 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is less than 9 into a squared plus b squared which is 1 and plus 2ab so it will be 2x now we can open the bracket so 4x squared 4x squared minus 4x plus 1 is less than 9x squared plus 9 and plus 18x and we can shift everything to to this side so we can rewrite it as 9x squared plus 9 uh, 18x and plus 9 and minus 4x squared plus 4x minus 1 is greater than 0. Now further we can add the like terms so 9x squared minus 4x squared will be resulting to 5x squared and 18x 18x plus 4x will be plus 22x and plus 4 minus 1 will be 8 so plus 8 is greater than 0. Now further we can uh, factorize and you can apply factorization formula or uh, factors whatever so this is mode 5 3 I'm using calculator for this x square will be 5 and x will be 22 coefficient of x is 22 and constant value is 8 so Mm, this will be pair will be minus 2 over 5 and minus 4 so we can write 5x and plus 2 and x minus uh, x plus 4 so greater than 0 and now we can check for the values by the quadratic uh, graph also like we can uh, understand like over here if I draw a graph like this one this is like quadratic uh, coordinate axis and our coefficient of x here is plus so it will be opening upward and points are what points are x is equal to minus 2 or 5 and x is equal to minus 4 so these two points we will be checking minus 2 and minus 4 so the whole quadratic graph is on minus side so we can write here uh, minus 4 and this will be uh, minus 0 0.4 and it will be opening upward like this rough sketch i'm uh, sketching so now we can understand this will be greater than zero so for greater than zero we will be taking this side and this side so our inequalities will be what inequalities will be x is greater than 0 0.4 so x is greater than z minus basically minus 0 0.4 which is this side and x is less than x is less than minus 4 which will be this side so we have uh, highlighted this also we can use even calculator also for this one but first i will explain the same 
question uh, with the help of uh, a software and these type of graph questions and transformation questions specifically i'll recommend that you will you should go to the net and check for software there are so many softwares available for plotting and graphing and so you can use that one although it is not available during the exam but it will be very nice practice for you and you can uh, uh, improve your skill level so i'll switch to the software okay so this is the software which i'm using and the, our first equation is um, mod of 2x minus 1 if we plot this one y is equal to mod of 2x minus 1 this will be the curve and this will be basically uh, v-shaped uh, graph and we can uh, figure out this is like negative side is uh, negative side is transformed to the plus side because of mod and if we plot this one y is equal to 3 into x plus 1 which is on the on the right side of inequality of our question so if we plot this separately we will get this graph so uh, this is also v-shaped graph and both graphs are intersecting at this point minus 0 0.4 and 1.8 and this one is minus 4 uh, to 9 so our inequality is 2x minus 1 which is this graph which is red graph and should be less than red portion should be less than this black portion y is equal to 3x plus 1 mod so we will check from the graph where for which area red portion is less than lower than the black graph so you can see from here from here this point is uh, minus 0 0.4 from minus 0 0.4 x value to the bigger values this is the section where uh, uh, red graph is basically uh, red graph is lesser than uh, the bl black graph similarly from here minus 4x value red portion is lesser than black portion and what we can do the quadratic equation which we have plotted which is 5x square plus 22x plus 8 is greater than 0 which we factorized and found the two points which is minus 0 0.4 and minus 4 this is the same quadratic equation i have written for you and this is 5x squared plus 22x plus 8 greater than 0 if we sketch this one if we check the shading part the shading part which i have shown you now we will check from here if i activate this one it will be this portion and you can see this line is uh, broken line and it is passing through this point which is minus 0 0.4 so shaded portion is to the right of this point so bigger than this value and if you check from here the second point minus 4 and 9 and x value is minus 4 and lesser than minus 4 values so these green portions are the inequalities which we have provided as answer x is um greater uh, x is less than minus 4 and x is greater than minus 0 0.4 hopefully you understood this very well and now i'll switch back to i have copied uh, this curve uh, this curve on uh, the question also i will show you from there this is the graph which i have uh, sketched in the same software and i have uh, inserted over here for you and you can see uh, this is uh, uh, one graph which is uh, 2x this graph is 2x minus 1 mod and the other graph is 3 black one is black one is 3 mod of x plus 1 mod so this will this is these are the graphs and you can see this is the point minus 0 0.4 x value from here you can check this is minus 0 0.4 and from here as well we can check the reference also and 
this point is minus 4 x value is minus 4 so from this point minus 4 this side and from this point minus 0 0.4 this side will be our solution uh, which is uh, provided what else we can do we can check basically by the help of calculator also and what we will do we will use calculator to check our graph so like this one so we can type the quadratic equation 5x squared 5 and x squared plus 22x and plus 8 is greater than 0 so uh, we will check for uh, 0. Point, uh, minus 0. 0.4 so calculate for minus 0. 0.4 we should get 0 for this one and we are getting 0 and for a higher value higher than minus 0. 0.4 bigger values than minus 0. 0.4 we should get a positive value so we can check from here calculate for uh, like uh, uh, like we can take like one so calculate for uh, x is equal to one uh, we can use this one this equation calculate for x is equal to one we will be getting positive value and in this case like uh, lesser than minus 4 also if we will check uh, calculate for like uh, minus 5 negative 5 we will be getting positive value so it's opening upward also so by the help of calculator also we can check this so i have explained you by all different uh, options which you can use and this will be like so with the software will be you will you will be improving your skill level very nicely now we can move to the question number two question number two says on a sketch of uh, an organ diagram uh, shade the region whose points shade the region whose points represent complex number z satisfying the inequality z plus one minus iota is less than or equal to one and argument of uh, z minus e or z minus 1 is uh, less than or equal to 3 by 4 pi now we can uh, first we will discuss this z plus 1 minus uh, aorta is uh, less than or equal to 1 and if we rewrite this in this format z and plus one we can rewrite like like minus one uh, minus into minus one and this minus aorta also we can write over here so this one and this will be less than equal to one this should be plus because minus we have taken outside so and this portion we can rewrite like for example here is mod also so we can uh, we can consider this one this portion is what this portion is center of the circle so center will be minus one and minus one and from here we can identify this is radius so it is radius and this will be equal to 1 radius is equal to 1 and center is minus 1 minus 1 so now what we can do we can draw a, a diagram and roughly we can draw a diagram over here i will draw the sketch and this will be you can take um, this one 1 and 2 and this side also we can take like one and two and this side one and two so this is one two one two and minus one minus two and the lower side also we can 
take as this one as 1 and this one as 2 so minus 1 and minus 2 now uh, the cent center is minus 1 minus 1 so center will be minus 1 minus 1 over here and radius is 1 so one unit up will be passing through this one and on this side also passing through one so our circle will be roughly if we draw a circle it will be i'll draw in parts so that we can draw a little closer to the so like this one and it's not exact circle but i have drawn neat picture also for you and that picture is uh, better we will refer to that picture in a while and this is like the circle or what we can do i will take the circle and put it here and that will be better idea and this will be this is the circle and i will place over here and reduce from this one and we can move our points and over here so internal dots i'm just getting rid of and this too we can move a little down because this is over here and from this side as well we can reduce a little over here so that it should be at two okay so now this is uh, it looks nice and the other equation which we have uh, argument of z will be what so this one argument of z is argument of z minus 1 so we can write minus 1 plus 0 iota and this is less than equal to um, less than equal to 3 by 4 pi and 3 by 4 pi will be what we can write it as this will be center will be 1 0 it will be at 1 0 passing through 1 0 and we'll, I'll rewrite one and zero and this will be the angle which we can uh, write as we can check for the angle so it will be three into 180 and divided by four and this will be equal to 135 so 135 degrees now if we plot this one it will be one zero one zero will be this point and 135 we we can draw uh, like 135 angle this is the triangle and 135 angle will be like this one so this angle will be one 135 degrees and this angle will be 45 so this angle will also be 45 degrees and this will be the portion uh, which is uh, which is uh, shaded in both like for example if we shade for for this one argument of this is uh, less than so greater than portion will be shaded it means this whole portion will be shaded and for this one we will shade this inner portion which we have shaded over here and this portion will be what if i reduce this one so this portion will be shaded so this is double shaded portion which we have uh, shown over here and our solution will be this one so this double shaded portion uh, which if I show you in a bigger size so if I show you like this one so this is the shaded portion 
this one this is the shaded portion which i am talking about and it's double shaded so this is our solution the same diagram i have plotted on scale over here and you can see this diagram also over here this is uh, a real part of z this is uh, on x axis we are showing real part of z and this is imaginary portion of z and then coordinate axis and this is uh, 3 pi 3 by 4 pi which is 135 and the same this one is 45 and we have uh, this as solution so this will be answer for this part hopefully you understood this this is a proper drawing which i have drawn hopefully you are understood clear about this now question number three question three says the variables x and y variables x and y satisfy the equation this one where a is a constant and equation provided is this one which we will be utilizing a part explain why the graph of y against log x y against log x if we take y against log x so instead of y against x no it is y against log x is a straight line and state the exact value of the gradient of the line and this is three marks question so we will uh, we will take this equation which is x is equal to a into 3 raised to power minus y and we will take log on both sides and log of log of a uh, plus log of uh, 3 raised to the power minus y by log rule so we can re rewrite it as log x is equal to log of a and power we can pull first so minus y log of 3 log of 3 and now we can uh, shift this y log 3 to this side y, because we are interested in y making y as subject so y log 3 is equal to log a minus log of x log a minus uh, log of x so uh, not yes log a minus log of x um, this will be log now we can apply uh, we can rewrite it as y is equal to log of uh, 1 over log of 3 this one we are shifting to the other side so it will be dividing all so log of um x we can write first so minus we will write outside so what we have done we have written this one first because uh, we we are shaping it equation like y is equal to mx plus c so y is plotted against log x so we will be looking for log x over here so that's why i have transferred log x over here so log of a over log of 3 now this is the equation which is in the format of y is equal to y is equal to m x x you can write like this and plus c so our c value is this one or m value is this one so now we can write m value from here because m value is required so m value will be equal to minus 1 over log 3 this is our m value which we were supposed to find uh, exact value of the gradient of the line so which we are done now for the b part it is given that the line intersects the y axis at the point where y is equal to 1 minus 1.3. B part calculate the value of A uh, giving your answer correct to two decimal places. This is two mark question. Now uh, 
uh, where y is equal to 1 by 3. So at x axis, uh, at, sorry, at y axis, x uh, component will be 0. y axis, x component will be x value will be 0. So we can write as log x is equal to 0 and y value they have provided on y axis y value is equal to 1.3. So uh, now we can replace this one in the equation which is y is equal to minus 1 over log 3 which we found in the previous uh, question over here uh, log x plus plus log a over log 3 uh, this is log basically and log 3 now we can replace these values these are the two values which we wanted to replace and this will be 1.3 is equal to uh, log of uh, uh, this log of z x is 0 so this will be 0 and we will be getting log a over log 3 and we can cross multiply and we will get log of a is equal to 1.3 log of 3 and now we can take uh, e so a will be equal to e raised to power 1.3 log of 3 and this one we can calculate by the help of calculator so e raised to the power 1.3 log of 3 and this is equal to 4.17 up to two decimal places 4.17 this will be the final answer for two marks we are done with question number three as well now question number four question number four is uh, using integration by parts find the exact value of this one now we have to use integration by parts as mentioned uh, in the question so we can take like uh, integral integration dv is equal to integral of uh, uh, dx so v will be equal to x and now uh, we can put this one as u this one we can put as u so u is equal to put u is equal to tan inverse of uh, 1 by 2x and du over dx will be equal to derivative of uh, tan inverse will be what this will be 1 over 1 plus 1 by 2x squared and into derivative of 1 by 2x will be 1 by 2 so over okay. here now we can simplify this it will be uh, 1 over uh, 1 plus 1 by 4x squared into 1 by 2 and we can rewrite this 1 by 2 okay i will write same but next step we can take the LCM from the denominator and this will be 1 over this will be 4 plus x squared over 4 into 1 by 2 and we can rewrite it as 4 over 4 plus x into 1 by 2 and this 2 will cancel and this will be 2 over 4 plus x now uh, 4 plus x should be squared miss this so this will be r du over the x value which we found now what we can do after finding this we can now integrate integral of u dv is equal to what uv minus integral v du this is the formula which we will be applying and we will uh, take the integral from 0 to 2 from 0 to 2 as limits are provided so tan inverse of 1 by 2x 1 by 2x dx will be equal to uh, and now we can do one thing we will 
shrink this a little so that we can get more space and I'll move it over here and we can use this one so it will be uv and u is tan inverse of tan inverse of 1 by 2x and v is what derivative of this which uh, integral of this which we have taken as x so this will be x and this will be 0 to 2 and minus integral also from 0 to 2 we are applying this formula hopefully you are understanding so this will be integral of v which is x and du du will be from here we can write 2 over 2 over 4 plus x square dx hopefully you are understanding i'll add separator over here now we can uh, rewrite we will replace upper limit first so it will be uh, tan inverse of 1 uh, so it will be, x value will be 2 so we'll write here and tan inverse of 1 will be what shift tan of 1 will be equal to 45 and 45 or if we take uh, 45 will be pi by 4 so we can write here uh, pi by 4 and this will be minus so the second value 0 I'm not writing because uh, x will be multiplied with this one so 0 so minus integral of integral from 0 to 2 of 2x over 4 plus x squared dx now this is derivative of the denominator so when numerator is having derivative of denominator we are using log so this 2 we can cancel with this 4 so we'll get 2 over here and this will be pi by 2 pi by 2 minus and we can integrate in the form of log so log of 4 plus x squared and integral limits will be 0 to 2 now we can apply the upper limit first so this will be pi by 2 minus uh, log of log of uh, 2 squared 4 so 4 plus 4 will be 8 so log of 8 and minus the lower limit will be 0 so log of 4 so log of 4 and this will be closed now log of a minus log of b we can write it as minus this will be log of 8 over 4 and this will be cancelled and we can cancel it like this and this will be equal to pi by 2 minus log of 2 and this will be the final answer for this question and this was five mark question we are done with this question now question number five question number five says the complex number u is given by u is equal to 10 minus 4 square root of 6 yota find the two roots of u giving your answer in the form of a plus yota b where a and b are the real and exact so uh, this is five mark question we can uh, write this this one is in the form of this one so we can equalize this will be 10 minus 4 under root 6 aorta um, the complex find the two square roots of u so to find square, uh, square root we will take square root of this one and this is in form of a plus yota b we can equalize this so now we can take square on both sides this one and this one so square and root will be cancelled and we will get 10 minus 4 under root 6 aorta is equal to this will be a squared plus aorta b squared will be minus 1 Aorta square will be minus 1. So minus 1 b square. So minus b square and plus 2 a b. So plus 2 a b will be 2 a b aorta. Hopefully you understood this. Now this is real part. This is imaginary part. So we can compare real and imaginary part on both sides of the equality. 
and we can write a squared minus b squared is equal to 10 and imaginary part is what imaginary part is uh, minus 4 under root 6 is equal to 2ab this is imaginary part now we can find uh, b value or a value in terms of the other variable so i will make b as subject so this will be minus 4 under root 6 over 2a and this one will be cancelled 2 will be cancelled with this and we'll get 2 and this will be equal to um, this will be minus 2 under root 6 over a and this is value of b which we will replace in this equation which is at a squared minus b squared is equal to 10 so a squared minus b squared so this value will be writing over here so it will be minus 2 under root 6 over a squared is equal to 10 now we can open this square so a squared minus this will be 4 into 6 will be 24 so 24 over a squared is equal to 10 now we can multiply everything by a squared we'll get a 4 minus 24 and minus 10 a squared is equal to 0 and after arranging we will get this quadratic equation in terms of a square and we can factorize this by factorization or the quadratic formula or and i'm using this uh, calculator so coefficient of a4 is 1 coefficient of a square is minus 10 and constant is minus 24 and this will be equal to 12 and minus 2 so a squared is equal to 12 and a squared is equal to minus 2 square cannot be equal to minus 2 we will reject this one and now we can proceed with a square is equal to 12 so uh, a will be equal to what a will be equal to plus minus under root 12 which we can rewrite as plus minus 2 under root 3 now if a value is equal to plus 2 under root 3 and a value is equal to minus 2 under root 3 these will be the two situations and this implies b will be equal to what b value we know b is equal to this one b is equal to minus 2 under root 6 over a so we will write minus 2 under root 6 over a which is 2 under root 3 and if we cancel this after cancellation we get minus under root 2 so this will be value now if it is minus 2 under root 3 b value will be equal to same thing we will put minus 2 over 3 over here and this will be equal to under root 2 and now we can basically write square root of u so square roots of u will be equal to 2 under root 3 real part the real part is this one 2 under root 3 2 under root 3 and its imaginary part is this one so uh, minus under root 2 aorta because this is imaginary part and similarly the other root which we can write is real part is minus 2 under root 3 over here this one and imaginary part is this so plus under root 2 and this will be imaginary part so it will be with the order so these will be the two real roots which we uh, two square roots of u which we found and this was five mark question we are done with this question number six a part prove that this relation we have to prove so we can take left hand side left hand side is equal to cosecant 2 theta minus cotangent 2 theta and we can we know cosecant theta is 1 over sine theta so 1 over sine 2 theta and minus this will be cos theta over 2 theta so cos 2 theta over sine 2 theta 
and now we can take LCM so LCM will be sine 2 theta and this will be 1 minus cos 2 theta and we can we know the formulas like cos 2 uh, cos 2 theta is equal to uh, this should be yeah so cos 2 theta is equal to what cos 2 theta is equal to 1 minus 2 sine square theta and sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta so these two formulas we will be using and before using this formula we can switch to this cos 2 theta we can write as this one so we will write 1 minus uh, 1 minus 2 sine square theta so we have replaced this cos 2 theta with 1 minus 2 sine square theta hopefully you all understand and over this will be sine 2 theta which we can write as 2 sine theta cos theta 2 sine theta um, 2 sine theta cos theta and this will be equal to what this will be equal to uh, we can open this so 1 minus 1 will be cancelled and so 2 uh, 2 sine square theta over 2 sine theta cos theta and this 2 will be cancelled with this one and sine theta will cancel with square and the remaining portion will be sine theta over cos theta which we can write as tan theta so this will be equal to right hand side and this one is done now b part four mark part is hence show that integral of this is equal to half log of 2 theta so whatever result we found in part a which is this thing this one is equal to um, uh, tan theta this one we will be utilizing and we can write integral pi by 4 to pi by 3 and we can write this as tan theta uh, d theta tan theta d theta and if we uh, replace it as like tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta so pi by 4 and pi by 3 integral limits and this one we can write sine theta over cos theta and this will be d theta and we know uh, what we can do we can write like sine theta over cos theta if we write this one minus so this will be the derivative which is f dash of x and this will be f of x so but we require minus with this one so we'll add minus will multiply with minus and pi by 3 and we can write here minus sine of theta over cos theta so this minus and this minus additionally we have written to complete this formula and this will be into d theta and this one we can write as a log because derivative is there in the numerator and function is uh, as denominator so it, it can be written in the form of log of cos theta and the limit integral limit from pi by 4 to pi by 3 now we replace the limits and upper limit will be replacing first so it will be log of cos of pi by 3 and minus log of cos of pi by 4 and this one we can replace the values cos pi by 3 is 1 by 2 so log of 1 by 2 minus log of cos of pi by 4 will be under root 1 by 2 under root 1 over 2 under root you can check with the calculator also and now we can separately write log formula so it will be log log of 1 over b 1 a over b will be log a minus log b so we can write log of 1 minus log of 2 minus log of 1 and plus log of under root 2 and this will be equal to what we can uh, cancel this log 
1 and log minus 1 we can cancel so it will be log of 2 uh, log of 2 will be what this will be uh, this one we can rewrite basically this one we can rewrite minus log 2 and plus uh, 1 by 2 log 2 and, and this will be equal to uh, we can rewrite it as we missed minus sign over here this minus sign basically we missed over here if we keep this sign over here so it will be minus and this one there will be minus sign over here and we can switch this to 1 by log of 2 log of 2 minus 1 by 2 log 2 and this final answer will be 1 by 2 log of 2 this will be the final answer hopefully you understood this now we can move to question number 7 question 7 says a curve is a curve is such that the gradient at a general point with coordinates x y is proportional to this one the curve passes through the points 0 1 and 3 e by putting by setting up and uh, solving the differential equation find the equation of the curve expressing y in terms of x so derivative and gradient is uh, proportional to this one so we can write dy over dx is proportional to y over square root of x plus 1 and we can uh, uh, change the proportionality sign into equality so d over dx will be equal to a proportionality constant y over x plus 1 under root and now we can take integral on both sides so integral dy over dx and we can basically write integral dy is equal to k we can write outside and integral y over uh, under root of uh, y or we can write x plus 1 raised to power 1 by 2 and dx and this one we can write k integral y uh, y will be basically y we can shift to the other side so uh, okay we can write here y into x plus 1 raised to 1 by 2 dx and this y we will shift to this side so it will be integral 1 over y dy is equal to k into integral of x plus 1 raised to the power 1 by 2 dx and this will be integral of 1 over y will be log y is equal to k into this will be this should be minus 1 by 2 and this will be x plus 1 raised to the power minus 1 by 2 plus 1 which will be 1 by 2 and over also 1 by 2 plus constant integral constant see now we can find uh, we can rewrite it as log y log y is equal to this will go as numerator so it will be 2k into x plus 1 raised to the power 1 by 2 plus c now the given point is what given point is 1 and 0 and 1 so at 0 and 1 at 0 and 1 y value is 1 so log 1 is equal to 2k uh, into 1 plus uh, 0 x will be 0 so it will be 1 raised by 1 by 2 plus c so c will be equal to log 1 minus 2k and this will be c value which we can rewrite log 1 will be 0 so we can write c is equal to minus 2k this value we can uh, write and if if for example the other point is at 3 and e this point also we will check for this point also so at 3 and e 3 e our equation will be what log of y which is e raised to the power 1 is equal to 4k and plus c 4k means what x plus 1 so x plus 1 will be resulting to 
4 and 4 a raised 4 raised to the power 1 by 2 will be 2 2 into 2 will be 4 so 4 k plus c and c will be equal to log of e raised to 1 and minus 4 k and we can rewrite it as c is equal to log e raised to 1 is 1 so minus 4 k so this will be uh, this is the c value and this is also c value so we can equate these two equa uh, equations so minus 2k is equal to 1 minus 4k and k value will be equal to 4k we can shift to this side so 4k minus 2k is equal to 1 so this implies 2k will be equal to uh, 2k will be equal to 1 so k is equal to 1 by 2 this will be the k value and c value is uh, c is equal to c is equal to minus 2k so c will be equal to minus 2 into 1 by 2 so this will be cancelled so c is equal to minus 1 so these two values we will replace uh, in log y is equal to uh, we have k 1 by 2 so in this equation uh, log y is equal to this one we can replace in this equation so log y is equal to x plus 1 raised to 1 by 2 1 over 2 and minus 1 this is c value this is c value which we have replaced and this will be what we can write y we can take e raised to power so e raised to the power square root of x plus 1 and minus 1 sub so bracket will be so. so this will be y value which we were supposed to find they are saying y express y in terms of x and this was 7 more question and y in terms of x we have expressed over here now we can move to the question which is question number 8 question 8 says the equation of the curve is y is equal to this one for this range and minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 find the x coordinates with stationary point of the curve give your answer correct to three decimal places where appropriate so this is the equation which is given so we can write the equation y is equal to e raised to the power minus 5x and tan square x so these are two functions basically one function is this one and second function is this one so we can take this one as u this one as v and dy by dx dy by dx will be equal to uh, first function uh, derivative of first function which is minus 5 and into e raised to a minus 5x this will be the derivative of u du basically and v as it is so tan square x and plus e raised to the power minus 5x as it is and derivative of tan square x so that will be 2 tan x 2 tan x and secant square x now we can um, we know for the stationary point stationary point dy by dx will be equal to 0 dy by dx will be equal to 0 so this implies 0 is equal to we can write as from these two first and second term we can take common and common will be what common will be e raised to minus 5x and tan x will be common and inside will be inside we can write minus uh, 5 tan x minus 5 tan x and plus 2 secant square x x we missed over here so no this one this implies what this is our a this is b this is c so a multiplication of you like a b c is equal to 0 this implies a is equal to 0 or b is equal to 0 or c is equal to 0 so we will be writing this one e raised to minus 5x is equal to 0 and or tan x will be equal to 0 or 
next we can write minus 5 tan x plus 2 secant square x is equal to 0. These are the three options possible. So e raised to 5 minus x, if we take any value of x, positive or negative or 0, e raised to this cannot be equal to 0. So this is rejected. And the second thing, tan x is equal to 0. This implies what? Tan x is equal to 0. This implies x will be equal to 0. And we can solve this to secant square x. We can write as 1 plus tan square x. Tan square x uh, minus 5 tan x. This will be equal to 0. Now we can open bracket and this will be 2 plus 2 tan square x minus 5 tan x is equal to 0 or we can write as tan square x 2 tan square x minus 5 tan x uh, and plus 2 is equal to 0. This will be quadratic equation in terms of tan x and we can find the factor this one root so 2 and minus 5 and 2 and this will be equal to 2 and 1 by 2 so tan x is equal to 2 and tan x is equal to minus 1 by 2 so these will be the two values so x will be equal to tan inverse of 2 and x is equal to tan inverse of uh, minus 1 by 2. So we can find this one and this will be equal to this should be in radian mode so shift mode will be 4 and shift tan uh, 2 and this is equal to 1.107 1 1.107 1 and the second value we can check is for minus minus 1 over 2 and this will be equal to 0 0.464 0 0.464 this will be rounded to three decimal places so these will be the two sol answers and the third answer is over here so these are the three answers which we we got from here now we can move to the next question which is question number nine and this is uh, partial fractions. We have to do partial fraction for this. And we can write this one as 14 minus 3x plus 2x squared over this will be 2, uh, 2 plus x. 2 plus x into 3 plus x squared. So degree of this is 2. So we can take uh, a and the second constant we can take bx plus c and this will be uh, one less this power will be one less so this is bx1 so this will be 2 plus x and this one denominator will be 3 plus x squared this will be the partial, partial fraction this will be the uh, linear and this one will be the quadratic uh, so one less so now we can uh, we can write it as 14 minus 3x plus 2x squared and this will be equal to a multiplied by this 3 plus x squared so we can write 3 plus x squared and plus bx plus c and multiply by this one to a 2 plus x so we can write here 2 plus x and now we can we can make 0 to find the values of a b c first of all we can we can write like uh, a is uh, x is equal to minus 2 to get this one 0 when this will be 0 b and c both will be 0 and we will get a value so first of all we will be putting x is equal to x is equal to minus 2 so this implies 14 minus uh, 14 minus 
3 into minus 2 plus 2 into minus 2 squared is equal to a into 3 minus uh, mi plus minus 2 squared and plus this will be 0 so I'm not writing this one so because of this uh, term this whole term will be 0 now we can simplify this will be 14 and my plus 6 so 20 20 and 4 to 8 so 28 so we can write this one 28 a, a and this will be what 3 and 4 7 so 7 a so a will be equal to uh, 28 by 7 which will be equal to 4 so a value we got is 4 now we can replace x is equal to um, we can replace x is equal to 0 when x is equal to 0 we will get uh, we will get c value so let us suppose we will suppose let x is equal to 0 so we will get 14 minus this all buck the rest of the terms this one this whole term will be 0 and we can write this one as uh, 3a and b will be 0 because we have taken x is equal to 0 now we will be getting a and c only and c will be giving us 2c so plus 2c a value is 4 so we will replace 3 into 4 plus 2c and this will be equal to 2c is equal to 14 minus 12 which is equal to 2 so c will be equal to 2 over 2 which is equal to 1 so c value we got equal to 1 now we can replace x is equal to 1 so let x is equal to 1 so this implies what 14 and this will be our equation 14 minus 3 and plus 2 and this is equal to 4 3 plus 1 will be 4 so 4a and plus this will be this portion will be 3 so 3b plus 3c 3b plus 3c 3c now we can replace a value as 4 b c value as 1 so 14 minus 3 will be 11 11 plus 2 will be 13 13 is equal to 4 into a value is 4 and plus 3b plus 3 into 1 and 13 is equal to 16 plus 3 and plus 3b so 3b will be equal to 6 13 minus 19 and this will be equal to minus 6 so b is equal to minus 2 this will be b value now these values we will replace and our fact partial fraction will be ready so 14 minus 3x plus 2x squared and divided by x 2 plus x 2 plus x into 3 plus x squared is equal to a value which is 4 uh, which is 4 this one a value is 4 so we can write 4 over 2 plus x and plus um, minus 2x plus 1 so b b will be minus 2x plus c value 1 over this will be 3 plus x squared and this is the final partial fraction which we have done and this was 5 mark question which we have done so now b part b part says hence obtain the expression of f of x in uh, ascending powers of x up to and including the terms in x square so we can write as uh, 4 into expansion of f of x so we can uh, write expansion of f of x as over here if we take 
expansion of this one so what we will do we, we can shift the denominator as numerator so we'll get 4 into 2 plus x raised to the power minus 1 and this will be what we can expand it and we can take first two common so it will be 4 and 2 raised to the power minus 1 and inside will be 1 plus x by 2 whole raised to the power minus 1 and this one we can cancel 4 into 2 raised to the power minus 1 so it will be 2 and now we can expand it so 1 plus this will be minus 1 into x by 2 and plus we can write minus 1 into minus 2 over 2 factorial into x by 2 squared and plus there will be next terms which we ignore and we are not writing that one. and further we can rewrite it as if we um, rewrite this will be 1 minus 1 minus x by 2 and this will be minus minus plus so 2 over 2 factorial so this will cancel it will be 1 so it will be plus x squared by 2 x by 2 whole square will be x squared over 4 and plus so on so this will be our equation we can represent this as equation 1 and if we multiply it with the other portion which is uh, uh, which is uh, 1 minus 2x this denominator this portion so denominator will shift as numerator and we can rewrite it as 1 minus 2x 1 minus 2x into 3 plus x square raised to the power minus 1 so we can write this as it is and in from this one we can take 3 common to get 1 over here so we will write here 3 and inside will be 1 plus x square over 3 whole raised to the minus 1 and now we can expand this and this will be what 3 raised to the minus 1 basically so it will be 1 by 3 into 1 minus 2x and expansion of this one is what we can write it as expansion will be 1 minus x square 1 minus minus 1 plus minus 1 into x square over 3 and plus so on we are not writing the next terms ignoring the next higher terms so this will be 1 by 3 into 1 minus 2x and this one 1 minus x square by 3 and we can write this one so it will be now we require um, x square up to x square terms so we will uh, rewrite it as 1 by 3 and 1 multiplied by 1 will be 1 and 1 multiplied by x square minus 3 we will get um, minus x square over 3 then 2x multiplied by 1 we will get minus 2x and if we multiply minus 2x with x squared we will get x cubed but we are not taking those terms so we will ignore and so on and this will be equation 2 so from these two equations 1 and 2 we can write binomial expansion so binomial expansion will be equal to what so we can rewrite it as so 2 minus x we will multiply this 2 inside so this will be we can write 2 minus x so it will be 2 minus x and plus next will be x squared over 4 multiplied by 2 will be x squared over 2 so we can write x squared over 2 similarly 1 by 3 this one will be multiplied by 1 and we will get plus 1 by 3 then 1 by 3 multiplied by minus x square by 3 and we will get minus x square over 9 and then final term will be 1 by 3 multiplied by minus 2x so we will get minus 2x over 3 or 2 by 3x and plus higher terms we are ignoring 
so ignoring the higher terms so we can uh, add the like terms so 2 and plus 1 by 3 so 2 plus 1 over 3 will be equal to 7 by 3 7 by 3 and minus x and minus 2 by 3x so minus 1 minus 2 over 3 and this will be resulting to minus 5 by 3x x terms we have combined so adding like terms then x square is uh, uh, this one and this one two terms so 1 by 2 minus 1 by 9 1 over 2 minus 1 over 9 is equal to 7 over 18 plus 7 over 18 and this will be x squared and this is the uh, binomial expansion which we have done now question number 10 question number 10 says the diagram is provided the diagram shows a trapezium abcd in which ad is equal to bc ad is equal to bc both are r and ab is equal to 2r the acute angle bad acute angle bad and abc are both equal to x radian uh, circular arcs of radius r with center a and b meet at m the midpoint of a b a part given that the sum of the areas of shaded sectors is 90 percent of the area of the trapezium show that this x satisfies the equation x is equal to 0 0.9 into minus cos x into sin x this is the three marks part so we can we can do one thing uh, we can do a little construction over here we can draw perpendicular from d over here so if i change this color that will be fine this one is more prominent and c also we can draw a perpendicular and this will be 90 degree this will be 90 degree and this height is h so this height is also h and this length we can take this length up to this one is we can take as l so we can write if we will consider this triangle and in this triangle uh, we can uh, write it as sine theta will be equal to h over opposite over hypotenuse so h over r so we can write sin x is equal to h over r h over r so h will be equal to what h will be equal to r sin x and this will be our equation one and we can write cos x also so cos x will be equal to l over r so we can write l over r um, so l will be equal to l will be equal to r cos theta and uh, dc will be what dc is equal to uh, 2r minus uh, 2l so this is l and from here this length is also l so l plus l will be 2l and r plus r is 2r so this dc will be 2r minus 2l this is what we can write over here dc is equal to 2r minus 2l now dc we can write uh, l value so dc will be equal to 2r minus 2 into l value we can write as r cos theta so r 2r cos theta and this one we can write as equation 2 now we can use this equation 1 and 2 and we can find this so basically area of trapezium is equal to what now we will apply the condition which condition given that the sum of the areas of the shaded sectors is 90 percent of the area of trapezium so this is the condition which we will be applying and we know that area of trapezium 
is equal to what? 1 by 2 into A plus B into H. And sum of sectors is what? The, by the condition of the question, sum of uh, area of sectors is equal to 90%. 90% of, of area of trapezium. This is by the condition of the question. So we can write 1 by 2 r square theta. This is area of one sector. So we will multiply, we will double this to get area of two sectors. And this is equal to 90%, 90% of what? Of 1 by 2 into 2r plus dc a plus b into h. So h will be this one. Now we will be replacing values and we can cancel this two with this two and we will get r square theta theta is x. r square x will be equal to 90% or we can write 0. Uh, 0. 0.9 into 1 by 2. Um, 1 by 2 into 2r and dc value is over here. DC value is this one, 2R minus 2R cos theta plus 2R minus 2R cos theta into H value also we can write and H value is R sin X, R sin X. Now, uh, which, what we can do, we can cancel R Okay, before cancellation, we'll multiply. This will be 0 0.9 into, this will be 1 by 2, and this will be 4R minus 2R, and R we can, 2R we can take common outside, so we can write here 2R, and inside will be, uh, so inside will be 2, and minus cos of, theta and r sin theta. Now this r and this r will cancel with this r squared and x will be equal to 0 0.9 and this 2 will be cancelled with this 2 and 0 0.92 minus cos theta into sin theta. And this will be the answer which we were looking for. And this is x is equal to 0 0.9 2 minus cos theta into sin theta. Now, uh, B part verify by calculation that x lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7. So, what we can do, we can take let f of x is equal to what? 0 0.9 just now we have done 2 minus cos x and sin x and minus x and this will be x lies between these two so minus x and we can find f uh, f of 0 0.5 and this will be what we can replace 0 0.9 into 2 minus cos of 0 0.5 and sine of 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 and this will be equal to we can find 0 0.9 into 2 minus cos of 0 0.5 and sine of bracket close so sine of 0 0.5 and minus 0 0.5 and this is giving us 0 0.0 0 0.015 0 0.015 and this is minus so minus 0 point we will rewrite it as minus 0 0.015 one five and seven.
0.157. Now f of uh, 0 0.7 we can check and this will be 0 0.9 into 2 minus cos of 0 0.7 into sine of 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.7. So this will be we will be changing to 0 0.7. So 0 0.9 and multiplication to minus cos of 0 0.7 and bracket close and sine of uh, 0 0.7 and minus 0 0.7 and this will be equal to 0 0.0161 0 0.0161 we can see sine is changing sine is switching so there is a sign change we can write there is a sign change um, between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 so value lies value lies between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 it may be 0 0.6 or something but it is in between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 hopefully you understood this c part show that in if a sequence of values in the interval this one given by the iterative formula this one converges then it converges to root of the equation in part a so we will uh, do reverse working for this one and we can take the equation which we found in part a that is x is equal to 0 0.9 into 2 minus cos x into sin x and we will try to reach to this equation and that is reverse working so we can rewrite as 2 minus cos x is equal to and we will shift to the other side uh, so x x uh, over sine basically 0 0.9 sine x so this will be 2 also we can shift to the other side so 2x uh, cos x is equal to 2 minus x over 0 0.9 sine x and further we can find the value of x that will be x is equal to cos inverse of this one 2 minus x over 0 0.9 sine x and this is what we are looking for this is the equation and we are done this was two marks part which we have done. now d part using this iterative uh, formula so we will be using this iterative formula x is equal to cos inverse of 2 minus x over 0 0.9 sin x we will be using this formula use this iterative formula to determine x correct to two decimal places give the result of each iteration to four decimal places so x1 we can take roughly x1 because it is in between 0 0.5 and 0 0.7 so in between we can take 0 0.6 and 0 0.6 will be this one and we can type here shift cause of uh, 2 minus alpha x over 0 0.9 sine x sine x over here bracket close and the whole bracket also closed now we will calculate for 0 0.6 0 0.6 and we will get 0 0.6106 so x2 will be x2 will be 0 0.6106 up to four decimal places and calculate for answer and this will be equal to 0 0.6151 x3 will be equal to 0 0.6151 and x4 will be equal to 
calculate for answer and this is giving us 0 0.6170 0 0.6170 now we can write for x5 and this will be calculate for answer is equal to 0 0.6179 0 0.6179 and we can see that uh, it is moving towards 0 0.6 uh, two even we can find one more so calculate for answer is giving us 0 0.6182 0 0.6182 so it's moving towards 0 0.62 so root will be equal to 0 0.62 this will be our answer up to two decimal places now question number 11 question 11 says with respect to origin, the points A and B have position vectors OA and OB. Show that OA is equal to OB and use a scalar product to calculate angle AOB in, de in degrees. So, this is a four mark part. So, OA is what? OA magnitude will be equal to. Uh, magnitude we can take from here x square so 2 squared basically x is uh, 2 squared and minus 1 plus minus 1 j value is minus 1 so square and plus k value is 0 so we write 0 square and this will be 100 and this will be equal to 4 plus 1 so 5 500 similarly we can find ob magnitude also and ob magnitude we can take from here so it will be under root of i is 0 so 0 squared plus j is 1 so 1 squared and plus minus 2 squared and this is also uh, equal to under root of 5 and from here we can see this implies oa is equal to ob which is uh, which we were required to show and use a scalar product to calculate angle AOB. So, scalar product is what OA vector uh, dot OB vector will be equal to A magnitude, B magnitude, and cos of theta. So, OA is given, OA is uh, 2 minus 1 and 0. So, 2 minus 1 and 0, this will be 0, 0 over here and the second dot product of ob and ob is 0 1 and minus 2 0 0 1 and minus 2 so this is the column vector and we can write a b magnitude and these are a b magnitudes which we found so under root 5 under root 5 and under root 5 and cos of theta so we can write cos of theta so this will be what uh, this will be uh, 0 uh, if we multiply 2 into 0 will be 0 and minus 1 and 0 so plus 0 so this will be equal to 5 under root squared cos of theta so this will be 5 under root and square will be cancelled so next we can write cos theta is equal to minus 1 over 5 so theta is equal to cos inverse of minus 1 over 5 and that will be what shift cos of minus 1 over 5 and bracket close and this will be equal to 1.77 this is in radian so the degree mode will be requiring and this is equal to 101.5 so this is equal to 101.5 degrees and this is the answer which we found now we can move to the b part b part says the midpoint this is a little tricky the midpoint a b is m and the point p on the line through o and m is such that p a is equal to o a ratio P A ratio O A is equal to seven square root of seven ratio one. Find the possible positive position vector of uh, 
p so this is a six marks part so what we can do first of all we can find the midpoint and the midpoint will be m will be midpoint of a b so we can take a and b and vectors we have these a and b details over here so a is this one we can take from here 2 and minus 1 will be a and b will be 0 1 and minus 2 so 0 1 and minus 2 so it's uh, values will be 2 plus 0 we can write over 2 and 1 minus 1 over 2 and the second value will be minus 2 plus 0 by 2 and this will be equal to 1 and 0 and minus 1 so this will be the vector and om is uh, what position vector of m will be uh, from here we can see i will be 1 and k will be minus 1 so i minus k this will be position vector from here we have written and if we try to understand what how will be the diagram diagram will be like uh, we can draw like this one and this is like uh, m point and this is uh, o point coordinates 0 0 0 and m point we found the coordinates which is 1 0 and minus 1 and then they are saying uh, a is uh, so uh, we can write a is the vector basically so p so find the position uh, vector of p basically we have to find this position vector of p so if we are considering like p over here which is uh, in between uh, m and o and a will be with this ratio which is provided with the ratio so we can take a like this one over here so this will be a and p a and a o and ratio between this is one and this ratio will be under root seven and now vector equation of o m we can write vector equation of o m vector equation of o m will be r will be equal to origin zero 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 and plus this will be something multiplied by like t multiplied by column vector 1 0 and minus 1 so this is the position vector of this now position vector of position vector of m we can write position vector of m will be what directly we can write t into 1 0 and minus 1 and this will be the position vector of m position vector of m now we can write position vector of p p is on the same line on which o m is but it is having some variation so r will be o p we can write o p o p will be the position vector of p so o p will be equal to something multiplied by this one and that something we can take as lambda so that cons lambda is constant which is being multiplied and it is giving us the value position vector of position vector of p position vector of p now we can write p a and p a will be p a will be this root and p a will be equal to p o p o plus o a or uh, a p a we can write p a 
will be equal to P O P O will be this one. If we draw like for example P A will be this direction and P O will be this direction and O A will be this direction. So by vector addition, so we can write this one P O plus O A plus O A. So these will be the vectors and we can write their coordinates p o will be what minus negative of this negative of o p will be what minus lambda 0 and lambda this will be p o plus o a is what o is 2 minus 1 and 0 and this will be equal to what we can write 2 minus lambda and 0 minus 1 and lambda plus 0 and this will be resulting to 2 minus lambda minus 1 and lambda so this will be p a now p a it is given p a over o a is equal to under root 7 over 1 now we can write p a over o a P A will be what? Magnitude of this. So magnitude will be x component squared plus y component squared plus z component i j k basically squared under root divided by O A which is this one. 5 under root we found earlier. So it will be 7 under root over 1. Now we can cross multiply and after cross multiplication. Uh, we can write as 2 minus lambda squared plus minus 1 squared plus lambda squared is equal to under root 5 under root 7 will be under root 35 and we can remove under root from both sides and we will get 2 lambda squared 2 minus lambda squared and plus minus 1 squared plus lambda squared is equal to 35 now we can uh, open the open this uh, square we can write 2 minus lambda square will be a square mean 2 square will be 4 minus lambda plus lambda square and minus 2ab so 4 minus 4 lambda and plus 1 plus lambda square is equal to 35 or we can write minus 35 is equal to 0 now we can uh, add the like terms so 2 lambda square minus 4 lambda and plus 5 minus 35 so it will be minus 30 is equal to 0 and we can um, rewrite it as lambda square minus 2 lambda minus 15 is equal to 0 and we can factorize mode 5 3 and this will be 1 coefficient of lambda square coefficient of lambda is minus 2 and minus 15 is the constant value and we can write it as 5 and minus 3 so lambda is equal to 5 and lambda is equal to minus 3 now when lambda is equal to 5 when lambda is equal to 5 we can write op will be equal to what op will be equal to 5 5 i minus 5 k lambda i minus lambda k so we have written instead of lambda we have written 5 and 5 now this is op and we can when lambda is equal to 3 minus 3 basically when lambda is equal to minus 3, OP will be equal to uh, minus 3i and plus 3k. These will be the unit vectors. This, these are the vectors OP which we found. We are uh, done with the paper. Hopefully, you understood each and everything. Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Also, introduce this channel to your respected teachers and recommend this channel to your friends and classmates thank you very much for watching take care bye